So how can we integrate the x root of e? Well, first, we can write this as the integral of e to the 1 over x power. And yes, we can use integration by parts, of course, do the dr setup. So put on a d and an i, and then put us with minus right here. And we'll be differentiating, yes, e to the 1 over x, and we'll be integrating 1. Do this, we get e to the 1 over x times negative 1 over x squared. And do that, we get x right here. And as we can see, this times this is going to give us the first part of the answer. So we get x times the x root of e, like so. And don't forget, we still have to multiply by this row, and this is going to be another integration, right? Now, Negative times the negative, so stop or gets a plus, and we have to integrate. Well, if we have this multiplied this that and that, so this is going to be on the top, which is e to the 1 over x. And you see that we can cancel 1x right here, so we just get x on the bottom like this. And now, what do we do? Yes, we can do u sub. So let's go ahead and put down u right here to be 1 over x, and then that means x is equal to 1 over u. Differentiate both sides, we get dx is equal to negative 1 over u squared du, like that. Very nice, huh? Yes, and now we can take this to the u world, and you see that this right here is just going to be the integral integral e to the u over x is equal to that, which is 1 over u, and dx is equal to this guy, which is negative 1 over u squared du. Aha, you see what? This and that cancel, and this is going to give us the integral of e to the u over u, and then du, and we can put the negative on the outside. In fact, this is equal to what? Yes, this is the exponential integral, namely e i like this, and then the input is u, and u is equal to 1 over x, so I'll just put down 1 over x right here, and don't forget this is the minus. And of course, we still have to write that down. And we are all done, so I'll put on the plus C. This right here is it.